A 63-year-old West Michigan mom had dreams of finding her place in the church. So she pursued a bachelor's degree at Cornerstone University, battling a host of medical issues along the way. She even did her homework from the hospital bed. She completed all her coursework in November, but suddenly passed away in December. Well, commencement is this weekend, and the school plans to honor her achievement with her family in attendance, a pretty big one at that, and they could not be more proud. Well, I'll start out with, with this. I just want to know how you and your family have been doing since the end of last year. That's a crazy question to ask, <laughs> actually. Yeah, because I think that we so numb that we just don't have no reaction at the moment. She was all around, jack of all trades, you could say. She did everything. None of us did our taxes because she did our taxes and really she was jack of all trades. Yeah, then. She, she's been doing my taxes since I was 14. Man, so you just had to do that on your own for the first time? We huh? didn't do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like she had a pretty huge purpose in your family and that she also was searching for her, her own purpose in life for the last few years and she started to find that. What, what was that purpose? She wanted to graduate college with her bachelor's in business and ministry leadership here at Cornerstone. Why was that something she was so interested in pursuing? She started life really early. She had her first child at 16, dropped out of high school. After she got her GED, she started Grand Rapids Community College and then transferred over here to Cornerstone. And in between that time, life continued to happen. She was in several car accidents. She's had several surgeries, back surgeries, neck surgery. She had an incident at the hospital where she was overdosed and, you know, started having heart issues, started having um, a lot of health complications, uh, kidney failure, but she kept moving, she kept pushing. She went through so much in the hospital, it sounds like, during, what was it, the 10 years of her trying to pursue yeah. this Bachelor of, of Science in Ministry Leadership. Was there ever a point where you were like, listen, Mom, maybe focus on your health? Like, <laughs> she really wasn't gonna let anything stop her get to this. I literally she said did. this. I said, forget about that, just leave it alone. And she was like, no, no, I got to do this. I got to finish, you know, and that's what she did. Maybe it's a good thing she ignored you after all, because she was able to, to get that degree. Yeah. Uh, what was that moment like for her and, and your family? Man, she was telling everybody. Every, As she should. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree, but she just kept on saying, I, I graduated. I got... <laughs> Even though she didn't get the diploma or whatever, she was like, yes, I graduated. I did it. I finally did it. And that's why we, when she was, even though she was transitioning, she knew what was going on. I called Cornerstone, talked to them and asked them if they can send me, you know, the cap and stuff so she can fill it. Yeah. just so she could hold it and she held it and she smiled as you see in the picture. She smiled and she was happy to even know that she had done it. And at least she got to touch it. So she graduates, and that was in November. Must not have been more than a few days after that, suddenly passes away in December. The 23rd, she had a stroke, and 11 days later, she passed away. And even though she won't be here this weekend, the university is planning on honoring her in a pretty big way, both Friday and on Saturday. And fortunately, you'll have uh, quite a lot of people here for that moment. Yeah. We got the whole family and, and then some coming, yeah, huh? Yeah, a lot of support. What do you think that says about the impact your mom had that so many people are going to come support her on her big day this weekend? I'm more <laughs> of the kind of person that's like, dang, why y'all are... Uh... But now I, <laughs> I get it. I didn't get it at first. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't get it. I didn't even realize that she had an impact on people like that. Now I'm supposed to understand and get what her purpose and everything was. And so I feel it now. But I, I, I apologize, I didn't at first. Mm -hmm. Even though she will not get the opportunity to stand up on one of these stages inside a chapel, what kind of message do you think she would have wanted to share with the world? I think she did it already. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I agree. Because, you know, and this is something that we hadn't spoke on, but like we said, we've had a lot of family members, friends, or, or honestly, anybody that she came in contact with, she had a message for them. I'm proud of her. Just as proud as she will be of herself.